Hey everyone, so uh, today is going to be a bit of a chiller video. Um, you know, I, I thought that this video I'll just, just start talking about something random because I can talk for a while. So just sit back, relax, open up a new tab and you know, this, this video is for people who just want to hear something in the background and they don't really have anything else. So I'm just going to talk about Pokemon. So, uh, yeah, there's not really going to be any visuals other than what you see right now. So, uh, listen to the sounds of my voice, <laughs> I guess. Or you can just click off and watch one of my other videos. Uh, that, that's fine, too. That is perfectly fine as well. So, um, I, Pokemon. I really, really like Pokemon. One of uh, those is one of my favorite franchises, actually, right next to Zelda and Mario and Sonic. I, I just I love those like four franchises, especially Sonic, Pokemon. You know, I just well, my first Pokemon game was actually Pokemon Red. Uh, funny enough, it was on a website called Play R, and it was an emulation website be and it just had a lot of weird shit it actually had the um that weird pokemon jade it was like telefang or something but it was still said it was pokemon diamond and pokemon jade and i thought that was fucking hilarious well you actually i don't think you could have saved on that website so i every time i i just had to i kept grinding my bulbasaur up to level 16 just to beat the first gym because that's i, I really like doing that because i heard that uh you could actually glitch the game if you did that and but that's only in the Japanese version on the American release, which was where the uh, this one was emulating. Um, I really, really wanted to play Pokemon Fire Red, like and Leaf Green, because those were the uh, like those were the games that I really saw all the time back in like 2008 and 2009. One of the first Pokemon Let's Plays I actually saw was Pokemon. Let's play Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green by Chugga Conroy, who is one of the biggest inspirations of mine. Like, for real, he's like one of the biggest inspirations that I have for wanting to make content as a whole. Just like, not just YouTube videos, as you can see, I haven't really been doing that much, but he's just been one of those YouTubers that. I, 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 I just love going back to his videos, and I think right now he's doing a Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which I watched a few episodes of, and it, it, it's him. You know, he's still the same person, but for some somehow he's, he's made the traditional Let's Play formula really interesting still, and I, I, I just, I hope, a, like, a newer generation of, like, kids find his, like, new stuff and his old stuff and just watch it like me and my brother did. We... Um, fun fact, uh, we actually, I, we did not know how to say his name, not Emil, like his actual, like, YouTube name, uh, Chugga Conroy, we thought it was Shugga Conroy, like sugar, so, uh, fireworks, but, <laughs> we really thought that was, that's how it was, and I thought that was, I mean, looking back on it, it's, it's funny, but me, yeah, that was like, that's one of the fondest memories I have with my brother, just watching his, uh, Wind Waker Let's Play. Like his old old stuff and his new stuff. I don't. I'm not. I don't want to just say that his old stuff is the best and can't be beat. No, his newer stuff, like his Splatoon Let's Play and his uh, uh, Pokemon Diamond, oh Pokemon Platinum Let's Play, amazing. Let's get back to uh, the thing of Pokemon. Well, I've I've always wanted to make my Pokemon. I actually have a few designs uh, made for Pokemon. And that's what originally this video was going to be, was me talking about my Pokemon ideas. But a lot of other people have done that, and, and it's not that I didn't want to do it because of that reason. I just kind of don't want to put I, I don't want to, like, do a lot today. Uh, today I just felt really chill and tired. Uh, in my last video, I actually explained why I'm like this right now. It's, it's because it, it, the thing, it's called conversion disorder, and you can look that up on your own. It's diff it's different for everybody. It's just neurological functions, just not wanting to work because 
of stress, trying to shut my body down to avoid stress. Well, so, so right now, I've just been chill, I've been sleeping in a lot, and yeah, and I've, I've just been thinking about Pokemon a lot recently, and I just, I just like Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, Fire Red, Leaf Green. I, I, I still would say that they're one of the better, uh, games of the franchise, right, like, no, it's not, they're not the best, the remakes of the original Gen 1, which... I'm I'm honestly kind of getting tired of seeing rehashes of Kanto, but it's it's like Fire Red and Leaf Green that could have done a lot better. I think out of the remakes they're the worst, but I think I think if you if you're just like completely new to the franchise, I think that the, they're one of the games that you should play unless you want to play one of the newer games, which. Pokemon Sword and Shield was alright. I played, I got Sword, and it was alright. Uh, I beat in like two days. I, before that, I got Ultra Sun, which I just <laughs> grinded in like three days, and I beat it. And a lot of the, and a lot of the newer games, I didn't have that much challenge playing through, but that's honestly just because, not because they're like super easy. No, some of the fights kicked my ass. It's just, I underestimated them, and that's why uh, they, that's why it kind of doesn't even work out too well. Um, I, 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 just, I think a lot of the reason why people say that Pokemon is so easy nowadays is because a lot of the Pokemon fans are fans who are older, who can play uh, these games, and with relative ease because they've seen the formula many times and I think a lot of the older Pokemon fans actually want something of new experience like um, the new Pokemon uh, I think it's something Pokemon Adventures Arceus I think something I think Pokemon I don't know but that looks amazing and I can't wait for it now the Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes Oh, uh, that's a topic that I'm going to get on later, but, um, yeah, that's just, it's, it's one tricky, one tricky thing to talk about. Um, but yeah, I love Pokemon ROM hacks. Pokemon ROM hacks, I, I just, uh, and fan games like Pokemon Uranium, I love the, I love the fan content that a lot of, uh, Pokemon people make content creators as well they make really good videos um uh, actually let me like true green seven and candy eevee uh oh and okay jay wits the jay wits was one of the first pokemon content creators i watched and i haven't watched him i haven't actually seen uh his newer stuff he's uh i see i'm looking at his channel right now he's done a lot of nintendo like as a whole and he, um, he's like, he, yeah, there's still a lot of Pokemon videos, but, you know, I just see a lot of Nintendo as a whole. But, uh, yeah, Candy Eevee, I think she, like, has a different channel called Lovey. Love, I, like, it's a storytime animation channel, and it's, well, yeah, that's pretty good, too. I actually really like hearing her voice and just watching her videos. Sorry if I hit the mic. <laughs> Um, I like watching those kinds of videos, and uh, True Green 7, I've seen he's made, like, he's talking about his own Pokemon ideas, which is a really cool thing I've actually watched. Now, that was, I think, one of the last videos I've seen of his. Uh, that is a whole, but another one is Hoodlum Callum. I love Hoodlum Callum. I, I love watching his, like, ROM hack playthroughs, and that, I think he's one of the reasons why I love ROM hacks so much, is because I get to see creators put uh, effort into it and him play through it uh, his Pokemon Clover playthrough yeah I know that's a bit like if you know him that's a bit like cliche like oh you, yeah no I, I just love his Pokemon Clover playthrough and whenever I was like really sad like COVID was a thing that like it just arose and it was just a thing that started happening and it, w it was coming over to America it was a thing for a while but um, whenever I saw that it got me worried, but when uh, his Pokemon Clover playthrough actually helped me through 
a lot of like the the, the stress uh, of COVID, and it gave me a laugh, and I think it's really funny. Uh, his Pokemon, it was like a gold ROM hack where all the Pokemon types are switched. Fool's gold. Uh, I thought I thought that was a pretty that was a pretty cool one too. I didn't watch a lot of it, but I did watch some of it, and then yeah, I just got a lot of Pokemon ROM hacks are amazing. Like uh, some that I've played on my own, po Pokemon Clover, Pokemon Vega, I um, and Moe Mon. I've played a lot of Moe Mon more than I am <laughs> more than I am <laughs> proud to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I just, I've, I just, it, I don't know, I don't know how to put it into words. I just, I think that it's a really great outlook that the Pokemon Company and Nintendo aren't actually like exploring. Companies like Sega have actually like shown that fans can do really great work for a company, like with games like Sonic Mania. So, I think that if Nintendo were to just find competent, like, developers, like Pokemon Uranium development team, they spent nine years on that thing, and that's a fucking masterpiece. I have it on my computer. It's a, it's a really great game. And I think that, honestly, that the, the, the Nintendo should actually do something like that, where it's like, hey, we'll bring in some competent devs who have proven themselves to be worthy to help with a Pokemon game because obviously if they could make a game that our fans like then it'll help us so I don't I don't see why they just don't bring them on a team or something I mean being a game developer myself I think that that'd be pretty help that's more help that that's more help yeah that's like more like people to pay but that's like that that helps a lot with uh, wanting like with interactivity so, I, I, I don't know, Nintendo's just weird nowadays with, like, their Smash shit that went around. I, I don't know. And speaking of Nintendo being fucking weird, we, a lot of fans wanted a Diamond and Pearl remake. I never really got into Diamond or Pearl or Platinum that much. I, 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 I just, I was... I started playing Pokemon technically around Gen 5. That That's like the, the area where I remember playing Pokemon the most was during the Gen 5 era. I remember actually f looking on, like going on TV and seeing like get a shiny Genesect or get a Genesect go like here, bring your copy of Pokemon. I remember seeing those commercials on TV, but uh, yeah, so... I, 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 I never really got into it, so, but I, I do understand the hype and want of a new remake of those games because they're slow. I've played Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. I've actually played all three, but mostly Platinum. I, and they're slow. So, yeah, I, I would want a remake of them, too, if I, like, just to get back into it because it's, like, I like the Pokemon from Gen 4. I think Gen 4 has some of the best designs, but... Now, saying that, the actual Gen 4 remakes look bad, and, okay, the chibi design is not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the chibi design that they went for on the overworld. I'm talking about, like, the battle screen thing where, like, you can actually, like, it, like, it just looks like Let's Go, but if they, like, gave them proper proportions, but they, they just, the actual models look very, very bad. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like that part. The chibi design, again, I don't, I, I wouldn't have personally thought of it whenever, if I, if I were given the reins to remake Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. But, I mean, it's, it's okay, I guess. It's not bad. It's, it's actually pretty cute. I do like it. But, ugh, the, those battle minions, it just looks like Let's Go. It doesn't even look like Sword and Shield, which, ugh, it, it look decent. Are, are they going to make the remakes have, like, these, like, cutesier design? The game doesn't look like a Nintendo Switch game. Actually, you know what? No, it does look like a Nintendo Switch game, because a lot of Nintendo Switch games look like this. And I, and I don't think that a lot of people realize that. Like, Pokemon Let's Go looks like that, and... 
Um, I think the Bomberman games kind of looked like that too. I can't remember. Don't quote me on that. I thought I, I didn't. I'm not a big fan of Bomberman. I like I like the older games, and I because I've only ever played one, and so I'm not really a big fan. Of, I, I'm not per a person. I don't take my word for that one. I should probably look more into that. But uh, the Legend of Zelda game, uh, the, the Link's Awakening remake, looked like that. So a lot of the remakes kind of look like this uh, chibi. Uh, design. I think that's where they got the idea from to make the Pokemon remake, like this Pokemon remake, more chibi esque, is from Legend of Zelda Wings Awakening because we kind of like that. But that fit more with the actual game itself since it was a dream thing. But this, this isn't really. I, I didn't like that, like what they did with that too much. So, and I, and I went on Twitter. God forbid me. I went on Twitter, and um. I saw a lot of people saying, oh, you Pokemon fans are so, like, uh, picky and they're so, like, uh, complaining. Yeah, well, we've been waiting. Like, a lot of them, a lot of people have been waiting for this for so many years. And then, like, they have the right to be disappointed in something like this. Nintendo has been disappointing fans a lot recently for, like, not allowing Project M in Smash tournaments, which... <laughs> Or s stuff like that. Like, they're, they're not allowing and they're taking away, like, fan projects and all that sort of thing. They have the right to. They have every right to. But just because you have the right to do something doesn't mean you should. It's, or it's not the right action. And it just... It's stupid for something like that. And y y we can complain if we don't like something in a company. We should be able to complain. I, I, I fully agree with that. A lot of, of that's... I, but... Saying that we shouldn't be able to complain because Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes look like atrocious, that, that's stupid because we've been waiting for something for so long and this is something that a lot of people have wanted and again, I keep repeating myself. They, they just wanted this for so long and they're just disappointed. The, and they every right to be. It looks fucking awful. I don't agree that the chibi design is what looks awful, but I think that a lot of like the other aspects of it that we saw were awful. But but what, what baffles me is that the Arceus game looks a f fucking amazing. It's like a free roam uh, Pokemon game, not free roam. What am I? What's the word I'm looking for? I think it might be free roam. But I, it looks amazing and open world. There we go. Yeah, open world. But I think it is free. Free roam is what I was looking for. Like you actually throw the pokeballs and there's like live battles. I, it's amazing. I think that like that, that's like awesome. But again, you know how Nintendo is. Kind of ruined it with the Diamond and Pearl remix. Uh, God, I don't. I don't know, man. I just. I think that that's a bit dumb, and I hope they don't do this shit with the like, black and white remakes, because I would love to have a black and white remake look good. And I know, oh, he's talking about a black and white remake ever since, like just right after the fucking uh, the the Diamond and Pearl remakes were announced. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they were talking about Diamond and Pearl remakes right after Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire came out. What are you? What are you talking about? It's expected now that we're going to get remakes of every generation. Like, right after, uh, like, the next generation happens. And so I'm, I'm expecting it, honestly, on the next Nintendo console. I don't think that we're going to get it, like, on the Switch. Maybe on, like, the Switch extension. Kind of like Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. And then, uh... Um, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, how they didn't come on Switch. So, you know, I think, I think that we can expect it either on the Switch or something like that in, like, a few years. But I, I really am disappointed in the Pokemon Company, Nintendo, and Game Freak for not giving us the game that we wanted. Because it's our money, and honestly, I, I, I'm probably still going to buy it. Because... I want to play Diamond and Pearl in a modern aspect ratio, and it's either that or I buy a flash cartridge for my, my DS, and I really don't want to do that, even though it is technically 
cheaper. It is a cheaper alternative, but there's a lot of issues with that, and I don't trust myself to work one of those things. Uh, well, I'm going to just, like, get off of that note, and, like, t t for my final, like, thing, I'm going to say something, like, a lot nicer. I think that Pokemon is such, like, a nostalgic thing for me that I really just wish fly. I don't want to, like, let it go, personally. I think that it's just one of those things that'll stick around with me for the rest of my life. And if I'm wrong about that, so be it. It doesn't matter. Catchy. Oh, stop. No, get off of that. No. My cat just got on my keyboard. It could have ended the recording. Ah, I couldn't fly. Nice. Well, um, so I just, I don't know, man. I just think that it'll just stick around for a lot of people, and I think that's a good thing, but I also think that it's a bad thing if they don't switch management, because right now I think that a lot of, a lot of the Pokemon company is just, with, for main series games at least, I think honestly, they don't care anymore. Or they, they're not putting as much effort as they should be, you know? But, honestly, that's just my take on it. And I hope everyone has a wonderful night. I'm recording this on a Sunday afternoon? Evening? Eh, whatever, it's like 7 o'clock in the afternoon. It's fine. Um, this video is probably going to be uploaded really late. Uh, have a good night, everybody. And I hope the things that you were doing are turning out really well. Uh, goodbye.